alluded to, uh, this is the project that Kelsey, myself, and Slog have been working on for about six months. We call it the Ambassador. And let me give you a bit of an overview about how we came to coming up with this idea. Uh, as everyone's well aware, uh, USC uh, in Annenberg was the first program to house a public diplomacy program here in the United States. However, as interest in the field has been growing, there have been other organizations that are coming after us. Because they see us as the best school for public diplomacy. And with that target on our back, we have to continue to innovate before the rest close in. <laughs> we need to make sure that the innovation that's inherent in the California spirit is sort of shown right here at USC. We also need a home. Public diplomacy doesn't have a digital home on the web. There's not a place where you can go and see, you know, what's the journal to read? Where do you find best practices? How do you know that USC is the best public diplomacy program in the world? There's no place to go and find that out. And so our epistemic community needs sort of a roof that includes the diversity of all these individual actors to be able to come and learn and also understand what public diplomacy is. And we need to build that place right here as a rightful home at USC. We also want to strengthen our alumni connection. You know, USC is famous for its Trojan family. Now, the MPD program has an added challenge because our graduates go into so many multiple and diverse and spread out fields, that's very hard to sort of bring them back home and stay connected with them. But our ability to connect with our alumni, it's incredibly important because they're out there in the field knowing what the tools and skills that they learned here, how they're being applied in the real world. We also need to rely on them for the feedback. How can we update and adapt our skills so that we're always staying current, so we're always staying on the leading edge of what public diplomacy is? So it calls for some innovation. So over the past six months, Kelsey Slog and myself have been working on these problems, these ideas, and think about how do we solve them. And so the solution to our project is Idea Ambassador. It's a new take on crowdsourcing what we call crowd intel, and I'll provide advice on public diplomacy projects courtesy of the students of public diplomacy, aimed at the practitioners of public diplomacy. So we hope to promote public diplomacy by giving its own little home on the web. We're going to connect diverse talent by partnering the students with the right skills with the right projects. And we're also going to be able to create sustainable relationships by giving alumni a place to come and always feel connected to where they are. Before we get into how it works, I sort of want to talk about who's going to be using this. So on the left side, we have our academia, we have our scholars, who have the resources and talent. And on the right side, we have the organizations who need that talent, need those resources to implement really great public diplomacy projects. It's also going to be a place where outside actors, so take the LA Times, AP, Al Jazeera, can come and learn what is public diplomacy. When you have that place, when you need an expert, when you need a Phil C, when you need a Nick Cull, how do you go and find out who they are? This is going to be that place. And that market is huge. You have the government, you have NGOs, you even have companies that are doing nation branding. All these people are interested in our field and in our skills. So you can see the potential user base is massive. Let me tell you a little bit how it works. So practitioners would post projects, either upcoming or ongoing where they specify a type of talent that they need. Maybe it's a regional specialty. Maybe it's an experience with topics like fashion diplomacy. Or maybe it's even a specific skill set, like social media evaluation that you'll hear from Kelsey. But the key to this is how we partner the talent with the projects. And that's really key when you have a professional to professional network. So when a user signs up, They'll fill out their profile for the experience, skills, and talent that they have. So for me, I'd put in Africa, I'd put in foreign policy, new technology, sports diplomacy. So whenever a new project posts with those tags, it'll automatically appear under my profile as a suggested project to join. Now this makes it incredibly easy to partner the right people with the right projects. Now you'll also just be able to browse projects by tags, view them in your news feed. But in the future, this is going to be where you make your name as a public diplomat. This is where your portfolio is going to be, reside. And it's going to be a great meeting place for the great minds of public diplomacy. And this is how we really start to build a crowd intel platform by bringing all these actors to it. 
That's just our working prototype, but we already think it achieves our three objectives. It communicates the innovations that are coming out of USC. And this is really important. Five years ago, no one would have imagined that the Secretary of State would have been on Google Plus and having a Google Hangout. We need to be thinking about what's the next five years going to look like for our field. It also connects practitioners and scholars in a way that we've never had before. And third, it's going to continue that great relationship that we already have with alumni, but giving them that central place where they can come, stay connected to the school, but also influence the next generation of public diplomacy scholars right here at USC. So the best part is, even though my team ran out of funding, there's actually still a future for this project. And I'm proud to announce that APDS has taken this project on and that they'll be running it going forward. And they'll be able to continue the work that we've already started. We believe we've laid the foundation for the future digital home of public diplomacy. And we hope you'll agree that this project fills a critical need uh, and that you'll stay connected with APDS and support it in its future endeavors. So we see ID Ambassador as a pressing need in our field, and it's lacking this right now, but it also is going to help global diplomatic communications worldwide. And our team believes that through communication, we can achieve peace. Thank you very much.